Are you moving to Texas but not sure if Dallas or Austin is right for your family? Well, hey, in this video, I'm gonna share from an insider's perspective some pros and cons, some things that are the same and different from Austin to Dallas. And just to let you know, this is probably gonna be a decently long video, but it has a lot of great information. If this is the debate, for you. And just for clarity's sake, we are going to be talking about the greater uh, metropolitan areas. So Austin and its surrounding suburbs, as well as the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, because the majority of families that we help are really looking for a suburb with a great family vibe, great schools, and plenty of activities for their families to enjoy. So that's just kind of the lens that I'm going to be sharing from. Hello, my name is Dana Pollard and I'm a real estate agent in the state of Texas and I've lived here since I was four years old. And I've been all throughout this wonderful, but big state. And what our team does is we help you narrow down where to live in Texas. And, and by the way, if you're looking to move to Texas, fill out my dream home questionnaire in the link below. If you're looking for a luxury home, $800,000 plus, fill out my luxury home questionnaire. And if you're looking to sell a home in Texas, fill out my sell my home questionnaire because it's going to help you tremendously. You're going to have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with one of my most fabulous buyer's agents chosen for their like values and great work ethic and negotiation skills. So don't feel like you're getting that agent because they are top notch agents. Okay. And by the way, when you do that, that helps me produce more content for you. It helps um, support this channel because just to let you know, YouTube ads doesn't pay a whole lot. So it does help support the channel so that I can get more content out for you. So let's get started. Austin versus Dallas. And um, I, I may be a little biased toward Dallas because that's the Metroplex that I live in, but I'm gonna try my hardest to just share from an out, you know, we've helped so many families move both to Dallas as well as Austin. So I want to share a perspective that all of you can appreciate. So let's start with Austin, Texas. Now, Austin's slogan, if you haven't heard it by now is, keep Austin weird. And I would say that there is a crowd that thoroughly enjoys the statement and they feel freedom to express themselves in rather unusual ways. However, there is a crowd in Austin that is looking for a more conservative vibe and those people are moving out to the further suburbs. In general, Austin is definitely more liberal than Dallas-Fort Worth. Now, Dallas itself is pretty liberal, but if you're looking for a conservative place, just know that even the surrounding suburbs of Austin lean more uh, liberal than they do conservative, just to FYI. And while Austin has a slogan, Dallas really doesn't. So what is Dallas known for? I would say probably football. <laughs> And while you don't have to be a sports fan to live in Dallas-Fort Worth, you may just still find yourself using Sunday night football as a way to gather with your friends. By the way, the Cowboys are finally doing well this season. So far, anyways, let's hope they keep it up. So let's first talk about the commonalities and then we'll talk about the differences and pros and cons of Dallas versus Austin. Let's first talk about the shopping and dining. So both Austin and Dallas have fantastic places for great shopping and great dining experiences. And so you really can't go wrong with either city in that regard. In Austin, my favorite shopping place is called The Domain, which is an upscale, um, mixed use commercial retail. It has even residential areas and it's beautifully developed. 
It's in the high-tech corridor of Northwest Austin. And the Domain is not the only place in Austin. There are many places like Barton Creek Mall. I mean, there's just so many places to go shopping in Austin. And Dallas has fantastic shopping and dining options as well. One of my favorite, if I could only name one, would be the Legacy West's three-story, like, high-end food court and then high-end shopping as well. It's just one of them. They also have Grandscape and Stonebriar Mall and Frisco. Many options as well as fantastic eateries in Dallas as well. Next, let's talk about sports, dance, uh, extracurricular activities for kids. Many ask me if particular cities and suburbs have sports, dance, and other activities for the kids. And this is a big yes for both Dallas and Austin, including the suburb cities. So Texas is known for raising kids in activity. So we're talking soccer, baseball, football, volleyball, dance, cheer, theater, and so much more. It's readily available in just about any city or suburb. Next, there are places of worship of all denominations and all religions in abundance in both Austin and Dallas. And I mean, Texas is known for being in the Bible Belt and it's not uncommon to meet someone at Chick-fil-A and start talking about God right there while your kids are playing. Also, let's talk about the employment options. Both Austin and Dallas have medical tech and an abundance of job opportunities. And they also attract startups and are great for small businesses. In fact, during the COVID shutdown, while yes, it did hurt many small businesses, but many of them actually thrived. And I loved how the locals were intentional about supporting the small business owners to help in such a scary time. Now, I do want to mention that Austin and the Austin suburbs were a bit more cautious in regard to the coronavirus than the Dallas suburbs. Now, Dallas itself definitely was cautious, but the surrounding suburbs, especially in the North, were not as cautious. You'd find many people not wearing masks and things like that. Why? Because it's Texas. Uh, but I do wanna say that they were definitely more cautious in the Austin and surrounding area than the Dallas surrounding areas. And when I say more cautious, I mean, there were more uh, closures, more restaurant closures, more uh, business closures in the Austin area than the Dallas area. Okay, so back to employment opportunities. Texas is on the radar for big tech companies and many large corporations are making the move to Texas in favor of lower corporate tax, no state income tax, lower cost of land, lower cost of living, and really so on. Austin has the most big corporations right now, and some have actually labeled Dallas as the next Silicon Valley of the US. And so it's definitely on the radar, especially Plano, for tech companies coming in to the Dallas-Fort Worth area, as well as other large corporations as well as small businesses and startups that are coming to Texas. I would say that if you fall in one of these job categories like medical or tech or that has a headquarters somewhere, if you can land a job in Plano, if you're searching for a job, Plano is a fantastic place to land for a job because it opens up your housing options tremendously. You will have so many great options to choose from versus driving all the way into Dallas for a very long commute. Um, same with Austin. If you get a job in Austin, it tends to make for a long commute. Which leads me to some differences between Austin and Dallas. Housing options. The housing in Austin is a bit more expensive and a bit crazier to secure a home right now in this market. And I'm not saying that Dallas isn't crazy. It's still crazy. now. We are at a moment of time where it, it's not impossible to secure a home um, in this Dallas market. We can get you a home. Um, some homes are gonna be more competitive than others, uh, but we're definitely getting people under contract right now. But it is, again, even more competitive in Austin than it is in Dallas. The median home price in Austin is 552,000 and the median home price in Dallas is 385,000. So that's quite a bit of difference in purchasing power. 
We could compare the median home price of Frisco, which is at $555,000, and it's one of the hottest suburbs of Dallas-Fort Worth. But in comparison, what you get in Frisco is so much more than what you can get in Austin or their surrounding suburbs. The median square feet in Frisco for a home is 3,083 square feet, compared to Austin at 1,785 square feet. And this is according to homes.com. Now maybe Round Rock or Leander, the hottest growing suburbs of Austin could be compared at more around the 450,000 median home price, but the developments are not near as nice as Frisco. So I would say Dripping Springs would be a much better comparison to Frisco, but their median home price is $780,000. And, um, I mean, they're just so different. These two cities are just, you just can't compare them. They're not really the same. So with all that being said, you really can get more home for your money in the Dallas Metroplex, especially if you go onto the Fort Worth side than you can with Austin. But again, everyone, there's pros and cons, and maybe you have a job offer in Austin, or maybe you want the hill country of Austin. That's definitely, we're spending some extra cash for. I would say that Dallas makes a great investment though, because we still have room to grow in pricing, if that makes sense at all. Because I do think so many people are moving here and so many corporations are moving here that these prices are only going to keep increasing. By the way, all these median home prices are from Redfin's website. So let's talk about the entertainment options and there are some differences between Austin and Dallas here, so let's talk. Now first off, both of them do have rivers, kayaking, trails for hiking and biking. And so in that regard, there are they are similar, but I would say that Austin has better scenic outdoor activities like hiking and natural swimming holes. And Dallas has better amusement parks and of course the pro sports teams to watch. And while Austin has the gorgeous Lake Travis, Dallas has more lakes to utilize in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. So let's talk about my personal thoughts on Austin versus Dallas. And they're just opinions, guys. Um, so feel free to do your own research and talk to other people that live in the state. So if you want to live near a large city and you're looking for scenery, Austin may be the place for you. And I have to say that beauty comes with a larger price tag. And many people who love the scenic views choose West Austin for that very reason. Now, if you want a more conservative lifestyle, then Dallas-Fort Worth may be a better option for you. The northern side of the Metroplex is newly developed with some fantastic housing options for quite a bit less than Austin. Although it is booming rather rapidly, so if you're looking at buying a house, you may wanna buy sooner rather than later for investment purposes. Right now, my husband and I are trying to find rental property as fast as possible because it just keeps going up even though other people said it wouldn't anyway. Don't get me started. <laughs> and then the last thing that you may wanna consider or compare Austin to Dallas is the weather. They do vary a little bit. My personal, the biggest thing for me is the closer you get to the Gulf Coast is the more humid it gets. And so I didn't know if it's coincidence or what, but and you can ask my fellow neighbors, but when I go to visit Austin, especially San Antonio. But when I go to visit Austin, it just, you can feel it is definitely more humid. Now, when I looked on the internet, it says that it's not that much more humid, but every time I go, I can feel a difference. And so it is a little more humid. Now, the further south you go, Austin, uh, not Austin, Houston and San Antonio, they're gonna be even way more humid. So I like that Dallas, Fort Worth is a little less humid. I'm not saying that we don't have crazy humid days because we do, but it's not, to the degree of further south. Also, a difference between Austin and Dallas is that Dallas tends to get a little bit more snow than Austin. In fact, Austin doesn't get snow very often at all, except for 2021 Snowmageddon, which hit the entire state like a first time ever. Uh, but, you know, in Dallas, we get excited whenever we get an occasional snow. It may be an inch, maybe two inches. If we get like four inches, that's a party, guys. Except for Snowmageddon, that was not fun. Um, <laughs> but I do have a video on that if you want to have the inside scoop on that. 
Now for tornadoes, Dallas definitely gets a little more tornadoes than Austin. Now, people living in Dallas are not freaked out about tornadoes. We do respect tornadoes, but it's I've never been hit by a tornado my entire life of living here. So I'm not exactly freaked out about tornadoes. I've only gotten into hiding like once in my life because I was concerned it may hit us. It never did hit us. And I'm not saying that they don't happen because they do, but interesting fact is they actually get more tornadoes in, in Houston and Galveston than they do up here in Dallas. And they get more flooding. In Austin and Dallas, we don't really experience flooding issues. There are some places where maybe it's not developed very well, or maybe it's an older area that experiences flooding, or maybe like the south side of Grapevine Lake experiences flooding, but they know that it floods, so they don't build homes there. So really it's in the less developed or well-planned out areas that there's more flooding. In Dallas and Fort Worth, um, in Austin. We don't really experience it like they have in Houston or Galveston. And oh, by the way, with the tornadoes, if it were important to you, then you could get a tornado shelter. They're like three to $5,000 to have installed at your house. So that's my take on Austin versus Dallas. Please put in the comments below which you would choose or what you're going to choose if moving here. And if you're looking at buying a home here, fill out my questionnaire below and our team would be so happy to help. See you on the next one. Are you looking to move up in Texas? Well, you may be saying, Dana, what's the next step? Well, hey, let's meet on Zoom. Whether it's a $200,000 home or a $20 million home, the next step is to fill out the appropriate questionnaire at danapollardgroup.com. When you fill out the Dream Home questionnaire, you will paint a picture for me and my team of what you want both in a home as well as a community. Or if you have a house to sell in Texas, fill out the Sell My House questionnaire so you can learn about the exclusive benefits of listing with me. And after you share your favorite snack and push the submit button, an email will be sent to schedule your consultation call with one of my top amazing real estate experts. And you can also meet me on my Texas Tuesday Zoom call and ask me anything you like about moving up in Texas. This is a live call and attendance is limited. So go right now to danapardgroup.com to get started.